Hey everyone, this is Emi Chicken from Team Pandori. And growing up in the 80s, 90s, it's either me playing with myself, playing with my friend, or waiting on the side for my turn to play. On the telly, there were adverts for Sega and Nintendo. There was one I remembered vividly. I was in Germany at the time, four kids, four controllers, one Nintendo, playing a football game. Mind blowage. If we look at the Console X Cube, first thing that grabbed my attention, four USB ports and a pack with four controllers. Here's the package from DHL, ready for the finger punch. It's amazing I can do that, but yeah, quite well packed. Bubble wrap and these Kinder Egg things. We've ordered the four controller versions, so two are added to the outside of the box. And here we have it, X-Cube. It's a little banged up. So looks like these guys are into Russian dolls. We can't blame them. This power adapter is 12 volts, one amp. HDMI cable and the box itself. We've got a warning label, says something about controller, don't care. But this bit's pretty cool. Opens up, we've got the USB ports. On the back, we've got the power switch, DC in, LAN, HDMI, the micro SD slot, and an adult video port. My favorite. We'll check it out later. Promise. Let's unpeel this. No, we're not gonna do that. No, 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 no. Outside the warning sticker, this looks pretty good. Other bits in the box, we've got pieces of paper, two more wireless controllers. It's best using a screwdriver to open this. For batteries, we need two AAAs, and here's the wireless USB dongle. It's like a PlayStation 2 controller. Analog sticks are not bad. Start and select buttons are a bit hard. And the buttons are actually not bad. No real fatigue. D-pad's okay, but maybe difficult to get them Hadoukens. The first L and R buttons are a bit clicky, and the two at the back feel a bit cheap. Not very stable. But on the whole, not too bad. You could play with this. Here's a micro SD. It's unbranded, but you know, as long as it works. For today's size comparison, we will compare it to Gorilla Jelly. It's bigger than a Gorilla Jelly. See? It says Gorilla. Gorilla. Educational. Let's check out the specs in my bath. And you know what? This looks exactly like the original Super Console X. Huh. Okay. To turn her on, we need to push her button. There's no fan, so it's silent. If there's no micro SD in, we're greeted with one lucky guy. It's Android 4.4.2. Um, we've seen a lot of this before. It's the Super Console X. So if you've seen our previous review, you know what you're looking at. We're not gonna repeat ourselves because that would be insane. We also find it a bit silly in repeating things that have been said already. You know what? We will focus on the four player aspect of the Super Console X Cube. When turning on for the first time, you'll get a no games pad thing. Insert your controller dongle, press a button on your pad, and then you're ready to go. Well, that's for one player anyway. If you want players two, stick it in, three, stick, four, stick it in, and this won't shut properly. At the top left of the menu, you'll see that the four pads are in. So for this pad, you need the dongle, the system itself has no Bluetooth on it, so you need to use a dongle for even 8-bit DOE controllers, and others will also work fine. If you need to reconfigure anything, we've made a video for that. Go check her out. So the menu itself is very user-friendly. Just flick over to the system you want to play, then hit go. There's 8-bit systems like the Amstrad and Spectrum, and it runs all the way up to Dreamcast, PSP, and Atomos Wave. This 256 gigabyte card has 50,005 games. That's insane. You've got little thumbnails on the side. And while the game selection is quite diverse, it's a shame to look at what's in the Nintendo DS list. It's full of repeat games and things that you'd find in the garbage bin. I mean, animal bowling. Sure, there might be people that want to play these games, this takes up 108 gigabytes. That's almost half the micro SD. The PSP, PlayStation, and Sega CD only take up 27 gigabytes of space. 
You can change some settings from the main menu, video settings. For today's review, I'll keep everything as stock as I can, but I do recommend changing game ratio to core provided. Three themes are installed. You can add more from the download menu. From here we can jump to the letter we wish, or we can filter out the four player games. On the cube we have an AV port. We're going to test that out with one of these cables. I'm just going to hook it up directly to the port on a big fat telly. I connected the console X cube to two tellies, one HDMI, one fatty, and to get an output on the CRT, we'd need to change the video mode to a CVBS setting. I think 576 is for PAL and 480 is for NTSC. We'll go back and restart the system. Nothing. As the left speaker buzzes, we can assume that the cables are coloured wrong. That could be either from the jack or the dodgy cable I got. After switching them around, we get an image. For the game testing, we'll have it on HDMI 1080p with a focus on multiplayer games. If it works out the box, it'll say at the bottom. If not, they'll tell you how to fix it. Here we go. Lotus Turbo Challenge. Street Fighter 3, Third Strike. To get full speed, you'll need to change port. His Battle Toads on main. Out the box, it does not work well. You need to change the core. And for three player, change the dip switch. Sunset Riders, main. The Simpsons! Main! Two on two, open ice. Main. No. Just no. Go wrestling. World Soccer works out the box. FIFA 96 
F-Zero X. Mario Kart 64. Crash Bash! Mega Bomberman! Micro Machines 96 <laughs> Dead or Alive 2 Stone 2 This game works rather well until all of the controllers glitched out. We assume it's due to the temperature, for the difficult to run systems. The heat has no way to escape, but is drawn to the dongles stuck in the USB ports. It's a very affordable and quiet system. A good retro gaming starter kit. Four pads, a load of games, yeah. Unfortunately, there are heat issues. Some things do need configuring, and as it's a TV console, I'd expect less DS, more PlayStation, and Sega CD. For the conclusion, if you don't need Dreamcast, PSP, this is a great little four-player starter kit. As I do some coloring, I just want to thank everyone on our Patreon. We have some new Pandora box releases on the horizon, and it's looking possible that the DX special will be compatible with Pandora DX. Fingers crossed. There's also the EX to look out for. Don't know where that's gone. Hmm. Anyway, this has been Emi Chicken, and we'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!